Hey guys, Tim here with Wear the Rope, and today I want to show you a very simple one arm flow with the rope that just feels wonderful for the shoulders to go through, and it will help you with your sneaks as well if you need help with that. So to do this pattern, you want to think overhand, which would be here, hold it in one hand, and you can just be swinging it, and then we're gonna stand 90 degrees, a quarter of a turn side on. So we're actually more in the drag and roll position, and then my overhand side, which is the overhand side is this way, I'm gonna hold it in that hand, so from the drag and roll, so I'm swinging it here. And as I said, there's three revolutions of the rope to one cycle or one bar of this pattern. What we're gonna do is gonna go one in front and two behind. So two behind my heels, one in front. Two behind the heels, one in front. Two behind the heels, one in front. Two behind, one in front. And all we're gonna do is, on the second one behind, we're gonna lead with the shoulder to come back. So the, the wrist is gonna go behind the shoulder. So two, and then it comes. So I'm gonna rotate the ribs, and the shoulder's gonna lead. So the wrist is back. I'll show you side on. The wrist is behind. Shoulder leads, and it comes in front. So we're going one in front, one, two. One in front, two behind, right? And then that shoulder's gonna lead, and the wrist is gonna, the back of the hand is what comes forward. So as we go from front to back, we're gonna do this way, so the thumb's gonna draw down, as will be very natural to do. And then after the first spin, that is gonna make the wrist turn over. So we're gonna go down, I'm gonna follow that as it comes behind me and then up and over, that's gonna turn the wrist over. So one in front, one behind, that goes up and turns the wrist over, and then it comes through. So, because the hardest part for this for most people is, is getting the wrist to be facing backwards in a fluid action. So we want to just follow the rope, follow the way of the rope to turn the hand over. Let the rope guide the hand. It should feel very fluid when you get it right. So one in front, one behind, turn the wrist, and then come back to in front. One, two, three. Show you again from the side on. So thumb over and down, flick the wrist over, and then back. Boom, flick the wrist, and come back. Boom, flick the wrist, come back. And what you can start to do is, as you come over now, from the front to the back, from in front of your toes to your heels, you can, like you're thumbing a ride up here, it comes up here and down. Kind of like if you do the high dragon roll, kind of like that. That one. We go in there, boom, turn the wrist down. So you can do it low here, or to make it extra fluid and get a real spiral into that shoulder, we go high and then low, like that. And now how we can get this to help our sneakers, if we turn this pattern from a three revolution cycle to two, so rather than going one, two, three, one, two, three, we go one, two, three, we go one, one two, confusing myself, we go one, two, one, two, so we skip that middle step, and as the rope comes down, we turn the wrist in one. Turn the wrist in one. So, so the back of the hand is what, when I come from my heels to my toes, from my back to my front, it's, we go straight into the back of the hand. So you can mimic this without a rope. If you can copy that with, if my hands relax and I do that, that is what happens. So it's very natural motion, fluid motion. It's, it's in sprinting and everything, right? So rather than one, two, three, we go one, two. So it's whipping up behind, like, you know, wafting. <laughs> Swinging behind, boom. And then that translates into the drag and roll directly then, that's drag and roll, as a sneak, and that's sneak. And we have to do it, the two revolution pattern for it to be sneak. So we have to take that extra step out. And then there are ways to step this up with the one arm pattern is just to really dance with the spine and the feet as well. You can shift the weight like a snake. Boom. Let the rope, boom, boom, boom. Guide the movement of the body and you can really dance. Or I like to do 
like a baseball pitch or I'm winding up to throw a hook. As the rope goes from in front of me to behind me, we throw then. Boom, we step and throw. So we're learning how the fluidity of the spine and the shoulder and these spirals can, can direct power and motion of the limbs, right? That's it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below how it pattern feels for you. And if you want the inversion of it, the underhand triple revolution pattern, also let me know. If you wanna get deeper into rope flow and you haven't already done my eight week course, I would strongly recommend check out the eight week fluidity course on waytherope.com. I've also got ropes there as well. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video. Peace out, guys.